What's going on guys? Welcome to your second Premiere Pro tutorial and in this tutorial what I'm going to be doing is showing you guys how to set up or in other words how to customize your workspace and when I say workspace I mean all this area right here all these windows, tabs, buttons, gadgets it can be kind of intimidating at first so let's go ahead and start tackling this first of all let me get my terminology straight because all of the you know hardcore Premiere Pro fanboys are gonna kind of yell at me if I don't tell you this I'm gonna give it to you in the terminology that you probably understand first and then tell you what Adobe calls it so each one of these big squares which you may refer to as a window is called a frame now each one of these tabs for example there are four different tabs in this frame these are called panels so we may say windows and tabs but Adobe and they're technically called frames and uh, what are they called panels there I forgot already so that's what they're technically called but the reason I forgot is because I always just say windows and tabs so you know if you guys are gonna watch my tutorials get used to it I'm sorry <laughs> but if you're like in a Premiere Pro class for college or high school or something make sure that you call them frames and panels and not windows and tabs so anyways in order to show or hide one of these tabs what you need to do is this and you know what let me take a step back and tell you why they have so many tabs each of these tabs is responsible for doing a different thing to the video for example these are the tools you use in the bottom right to slice and dice your clips um, this effect tab you can apply special effects to your video this audio mixer you can manage the audio make it sound really good and pretty um, you know just a bunch of different pieces are included other than arranging your clips in order a lot goes into making a movie than you might think so each of these tabs is responsible for that so the very first thing I want to tell you guys is this if you accidentally close one of these tabs for example if I'm showing you guys something about the tools tab and you accidentally hit close you go ahead and hit window at the top this window drop down list and this is your master list of all your tabs or panels just go ahead and hit tools and it pops back up so if you go ahead and hit window you see that some have checkboxes next to them and some have no checkboxes the one with checkboxes are the one that are showing already and one without checkboxes are the ones that are hidden so if you accidentally close one ever just go ahead and hit it and it'll pop back up so with that being said let me show you guys how to customize your workspace for one I don't like my tool tab over here I like it over here and I think that this is kinda you know big I really want to focus on this thing called the timeline so I really just don't like the layout so I'm gonna show you guys how to move things around and just how you like it the very first thing you can do is you can take these panels and you can move them around to different frames so let's say for example that I want this tools over here go ahead and see these dots or you can go ahead and click the name tools just go ahead and drag it over and now you can see it's highlighted wherever you want to drop it so go ahead and release your mouse and now your tools panel is over here so that's pretty cool how you can move all these around and aside from that you can adjust the overall size of these windows or frames if you go ahead and you scroll in between two windows or frames you see a little parallel line with arrows on each side go ahead and hit your mouse and if you drag left or right you can go ahead and adjust the size of these windows pretty sweet huh so I'm saying alright I want to make sure I can read all those tabs so that size looks pretty good to me now aside from that what you can do is you're saying alright I work with this audio tab a lot and I want this front and center center what you can do is you can go ahead and take this tab and instead of having it kinda of stuck there you can undock it so now it's kinda of stuck in place like a big puzzle go ahead and right click the title and hit undock panel and what that is gonna do is take the entire panel and undock it so pretty much you have a separate window that you can work with so I really don't like that so I'm gonna go ahead and cancel out of that I just wanna show you guys that it is indeed possible and also you can go ahead and right click and undock the entire frame which would undock all of these tabs right here you can go ahead and hit X and what that would do is say you never even needed this info tab you can go ahead and close that by hitting the X right next to it and 
like through all those things you can pretty much set up your workspace any way you want so say okay I'm gonna go ahead and adjust this like this I'm gonna get rid of this metadata and move this over a little bit and perfect I got my workspace set up exactly how I wanted to but here's the thing every time I open Premiere Pro I don't wanna have to do all that crap so what you can do is if you wanna save a workspace go to window workspace new workspace and go ahead and give it a name and as soon as you name it it's gonna go ahead and save it and then it's gonna pop up in the presets right here and well I guess I might as well mention the presets as well they give you preset workspaces depending on you know how people maybe if you are the audio specialist on a movie you're gonna wanna work with the audio workspace but most of us are just gonna wanna stick with the editing because this is kinda the general overall workspace so those are kind of the default workspaces that you can use and if you're saying this alright Bucky I'm watching your tutorial and I X some things out and I move this around and okay I move this and this okay I just messed everything up how do I like refresh it and get it back to new if you want to get it back to new default style what you need to do is hit window workspace reset current workspace and what it does is it makes is like hey dude are you sure you want to do this because you know it's a big decision so go ahead and hit yes and it's gonna rearrange everything like you never even touched it before so I know you guys don't even know what a lot of this crap even does and we're gonna be, <laughs> we're gonna be getting to that in the upcoming tutorials but for now I just want to give you guys a brief overview of how to manage your screen and how to get it looking exactly how you want it to so now that you know how to do that we're ready to move on to the next tutorial picking it apart and start editing some video so we're gonna be doing that pretty soon but for now thank you guys for watching don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next tutorial